like this coffee? It's the kind of thing you pick up for a couple of euros at Les Puces de saint ouen <clears throat> You see this ticket? Are you trying to bribe me? No. I don't blame you, of course. Good looking fella like me. <laughs> okay, sure. Take a look at this. I don't like lessy hankies. They scratch my nose. Oh. I can see how that must be a problem for you. Oh, ah, you've got a big nose, bastard. Look at this secret message. Very nice. But it's not secret now, is it? It's just a message. Mm. Your logic is infallible. What do you think of my shell case? Are you in the scrap business? Of course not. Pity. I've got some rubbish just like that I need to get rid of. Oh, you are so charming. You are so damn charming. Do you know this man? He looks like a nasty piece of work. I had an uncle who was with the fascists. But Ooh. we never talk about him. Yikes. What happened to him? How should I know? We never talk about him. <laughs> All right, you got points for that one. He wouldn't be interested in the execution cipher. Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you think I am? A plumber? Mm, maybe you've got red and blue suspenders. You could be Mario. No mustache, though. Why don't you have a mustache? Your brother's got a mustache. Mustaches are awesome. What do you think of this pouch? Very nice. Takes me back to my posing days. Posing? Posing? Art school. With a body like man, I was never <laughs> at work. <laughs> I'll show you if you like. Gah! I'd rather not. <laughs> I've only just eaten. Gah! Ugh, okay, that's it. You're gross. I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright, so actually, once. Here we go. Let's go into here and actually investigate On the pouch this. Was the cross symbol of inside the pouch were two items a strange metallic artifact. And a letter in some kind of code. Oh God! Please don't be another code where I've actually. Coded message using the same cipher. Oh no! I'm so never going to be able to figure this out. Was involved with Cachon. Oh jeez, I'm crow. Oh God, I forgot how to do this. Um. Okay, <sighs> fuck uh, God. Um. Jesus. Okay, um, let me just figure this out and I'll be back. Okay, I think I got this. Pierre King. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her and for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story, whatever the story was. One thing was clear it was a story worth killing for. Huh. It has been so long since I played this, I don't remember who uh, Melda is. Or is Isabella. The artifact had a sword. Laid across the there was a picture of Lady Justice on the lock panel in the room below the conciergerie. <coughs> ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, you might hear that my voice is a little scratchy still. I've been. I was sick for like almost a month last month, and I'm still got the whole post sickness crappies. So. A little horse. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Baby debe de boo. From the stench, the hole obviously let down to the sewers. Down we go. There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, ta -ta 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 the drain pipe had been pulled from the wall. Some idiot had clearly tried to climb it. Oh, that's funny. The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. But my pipes might. Ah! Anyway. <clears throat> so, let's see. I guess we can go... 
This way. The strange metal artifact I found in Plantard's pouch had pointed back to the keyside. Keyside. Oh, I see the keyside. I forgot about that. Yeah, this where the boat murder happened. Oh yeah, there was weird stuff in here. God, it's been so long since I've played this game. Um. The slab was too heavy for me to lift. Fuck, here we go again. All right. How did we do this again? This, and then the bullets. The bullet, oops, the bullet here. And then fit the slab. Okay, this, uh, the artifact goes in here. Okay, then we take... Um, I guess we just go in now. Great. We fixed it. Is this where it goes? Lady Justice. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Next to the safe door. All I had to do was find something to fit into it. Lady Justice! It like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. That is still dirty. Okay. Pop up! Hello! I found the medicine cabinet. The lock, so he must have used this place too. Hmm, let's see. Oh god, everything's been shredded. The folders were empty. Someone had removed anything that they thought could be incriminating. Hmm. A photograph had been torn up. Ooh, do I get to do a photograph puzzle? That I'm okay with. If I could just arrange the pieces. Uh, yeah, no, I get it. And I, I know how to do puzzles. Come on! Jesus. Do you know how to put the puzzles together? I don't know. It Wow, okay, that see? Well, maybe. There we go. I don't know. How does one do it's the picture of of the dad. This is not oh difficult. God. Yeah. It can, it can be. Yeah. Somebody ripped up your father. Both in real life and in this picture here. Ain't that ironic? Something like that. I don't know. Boom. Yeah. Everything is coming up daisies. Boop. And uh, not there. Not there. Here we go. Boop. Uh, da boop. Uh, da boop. There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. Mm hmm There's the rest of it. Papa. Oh, God. What? After what I'd gone through, I thought I could face anything. But not this. My father. The one person in the whole world who I truly admired. Standing with Cachon. While those murderers carried on with their evil work. My father. Grinning at the camera. I couldn't believe it. Wasn't he just like a war buddy or something? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's suspicious I that's in here, but... I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story. And that I really needed George. Yeah, No, you don't. No, you don't. Trust me. Dude's useless. Useless American. And as a useless American, I can say that. What are you sleeping over there for, kitty? Later that afternoon. No, I didn't investigate any of the. Ugh, damn it, the cop stuff. I didn't talk to anybody in the cop. Ugh, uh, fine, lady. The woman was doing something with a pair of needles that couldn't be described as knitting. Okay. Oh hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to foretell your future? Uh, no thanks. No, do it. I'm very good. Do it! Take the minis. Thanks all the same. No, I'm do not it! superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. 
What the fuck is with Bike Santa over here? Where the hell are you going? Where's my presents? Santa? Santa? Okay, fine. Hello! Do you know a young woman called Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me in the apartment block across the street. The door isn't locked, but you'll need to give it a gentle nudge. It sticks, you see. Because of the dam. The landlord said he'd fix it before winter sets in. Sure it will. He's been saying that for three years. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sounds like my old apartment. How long has Mademoiselle Collard lived here? A few months. She's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. Drafty windows insufficient heating. It's a struggle to keep warm. The only reason I stay is because the rent is cheap. Your uh, young lady, she deserves better. Yeah, no, that definitely sounds like my apartment. My old apartment. My old apartment! My my new apartment's very nice. I thought Mademoiselle Collard was a successful photographer. Jeez. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard her crying herself to sleep at Really? Night. That's awful. Now don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud, that one. Too proud, if you ask me. Ah, uh, really? Well, I'd like to comfort her. Yeah, um... Wait, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. No, I uh, I can't believe it. I think it's actually... I, I think I moved since the last time I actually picked this game up. Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man. Tall and thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden. But I saw his eyes. Peering from evil little slits. Slenderman. A long brown raincoat with an hat. Or like Humphrey Bogart. Yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. Mm. Besides, this guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his <laughs> buttocks like that. <laughs> oh my god. Is there anything else you can tell me about Mademoiselle Collard? No, monsieur. Hmm. Flower. Are flowers for sale? Oui, monsieur. Okay. I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Huh. No? They are lilies, monsieur. Funerals. Funerals. Associate them with... Doof. Yikes. Thanks for telling me. What other flowers do you have? Dahlias. What do they signify? Insecurity. Hmm. I don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about the tall yellow ones? Those are iris, the flame of passion. And the little yellow ones? Sensuality. Huh. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. Hmm. Oh, well. What about the red ones? There's red ones right there. Little purple ones. Keep trying, bastard. I've changed my mind. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. Huh? My, oh my. Well, there's three more games in this, so... Can you tell me anything I don't already know? Yeah, do it. How does this fortune-telling routine work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever hmm. wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Some of us are born with a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. Huh. Can you really foretell the future? Only time will tell, monsieur. The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Now you're very old, so... I have no problem. But when I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that, or I don't have a future. Oh. Now I'm all depressed. Here, look at this clown nose. Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. Uh, no more questions. See you later. I don't give a shit about the rest of it. Actually, you might know a little bit about the... Um, you might know a little bit... Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh. Is your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Maybe not yet, but I see your paths entwined in the future. Mm, paths, maybe. Genitals, maybe not. What can you tell me about this material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. Why the hell would you go to a murder site where you're going to be using explosives and use really expensive material? Like, I'm going to go to this expensive suit shop to blow shit up! Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Badunk. 